everybody. Welcome back to the Zodcast on Subscribe Star. Of course, that was a picture of Darlene Farron and Mike Mugeau. I cleaned up the uh, images and did one of those facial animation things on Darlene, which is uh, pretty pretty creepy. And the hair doesn't always seem to move with the face. I don't, I don't really know why it does that, but uh, the, the facial movements are kind of cool. So I just cleaned that up, as well as this image here of Don Chaney in his flight suit. Uh, when he was in the Air Force, so I cleaned that up a little bit. Obviously, that came out of the newspaper, but it, it cleaned up pretty nicely. So, uh, kind of happy with the way that image came out. And speaking of images, somebody put this photograph of Paul Stein from his wedding on Reddit. I'm not sure where they got this photo, but I had never seen it before. And then they, you know, they they uh, blocked out her face for privacy reasons. But I had never seen this photo before. It's really sad of uh paul stein and his bride cutting the wedding cake um at their wedding of course he was you know still fairly newly wed when he was murdered in 1969 so that's just it's just so tragic but uh you know it's 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 nice that uh this photograph was was located by somebody i mean maybe this has been out there for a while and i just didn't know it, but i have not seen this one before so i wanted to put it up here for everybody to check out and then on the screen i'm just showing some pictures of uh some apprehended suspects. You see David Berkowitz, Richard Ramirez, and then Eileen Warnos. And I think that, you know, the point of this was how different people wound up looking from their initial composite sketches after they were captured. And I know there's some that are, that are fairly close, but these were really nothing even in the ballpark for these, you know, three pretty notorious uh, killers here on the screen. That's why I focused on them. And then here's a couple more. You have Jeffrey Dahmer at the bottom that guy look, that sketch looks nothing like jeffrey dahmer and then of course that's ted bundy on the top and then this guy on the left no one would even believe in a million years that could be ted bundy but yes that's was one of the sketches made of ted bundy so you know people go on and on and on about hey does this guy look like the zodiac sketch or even db cooper for that matter and you know usually when they capture these guys they look nothing like the sketch I think Golden State was not real far off, but by and large, most never look like the original sketch. And with the Zodiac sketch, it just looks like anybody in a college or high school yearbook from the time. This is another older comment I found about the ABC murders. Of course, you remember those videos I put on YouTube about Don Chaney mentioning uh, that Arthur Lee Allen was inspired by the book uh abc murders by agatha christie and of course cheney says you know that lee never mentioned the name of course don cheney knows the name because he created all of this but this comment from ir says the abc murders by agatha christie this is the key to the whole case right here but he neglects to mention the most important part of the plot yes the mo matches zodiac with a series of seemingly random crimes one of which is targeted, most likely the murder of Darlene Farron and the killer writing anonymous letters taking credit. I can't tell you, I, I communicate with an, a lot with another guy uh, named Neil about the ABC stuff because he's in England and uh, read uh, uh, his copy of ABC Murders and he's just floored about how similar it is to Zodiac. And I agree with this poster. That is such a huge clue that Don Chaney gives you and his name was Arthur Lee Allen to throw that out there. And of course... He says that Arthur Lee Allen never mentions a book. Well, why does Cheney say that if he's trying to make Allen look more guilty? And the reason is, is Cheney doesn't want to give all the credit to Allen for his creation that is the Zodiac persona. Uh, Cheney doesn't want to give all of that away. That's why in the interview with Tom Voigt, he says he doesn't know of Arthur Lee Allen being into cryptograms or ciphers or anything like that. That's because Cheney wants to hold that for himself. He wants to give you just enough to say, hey, he's the guy over there, while telling you that he's the one that came up with it in the first place. And then something that's always worth going back and mentioning is that you have Cheney's story and forget that he moved his timeline from New Year's Day 68 to 69. Let's just focus on the story itself. Arthur Lee Allen's telling him that he's going to become the Zodiac Killer. He's going to murder couples on lovers' lanes because you don't need a resume for that and this and, uh, and, the, and the whole nine yards. So it, obviously Cheney is taking him seriously enough to say something like, you know, you don't want to do that. You need to think long and hard before you actually, you know, uh, commit yourself to doing these crimes. Why wouldn't Cheney, let's just assume he doesn't want to go to the police because he doesn't like him either, but why wouldn't he tell Ron Allen that? As well as Don Cheney knew Ron Allen. Ron Allen was Don Cheney's best man at his wedding. He knew Ron before 
uh, Arthur Lee. So why wouldn't he at least tell Ron Allen, hey, your brother just told me some creepy stuff, dude. And according to the history and Ron Allen that I know of never said that happened. Here's yet another comment in one of the uh, comment sections under his name was Arthur Lee Allen by Antwort, M-I-R, whoever that is. And it says, in the 1960s, it was clearly very easy to overhear the police radio. Donald Cheney keeps going through my head. He had the training and he knew that it was easy to plan all these murders. After all, he was an engineer. Some say Donald Cheney used Arthur Lee Allen as a scapegoat. Uh, absolutely, he used Arthur Lee Allen as a scapegoat. I couldn't even read all these comments that are suspicious of Don Cheney under these two different uploads of his name was Arthur Lee Allen. It would probably take me a year. There's just so many of them. They just, they don't end. Most of the comments are suspicious of Don Cheney after watching that. So something is going on there. That, you know, I'm not the one that first suggested Don could be involved. I just wanted to take it to another level. And this is another interesting piece that came up on Reddit, which isn't all bad. I know I uh, put it down sometimes, but you do have Mr. Baseball on there, which is a big Don Cheney proponent, so I like his stuff a lot. He gets a lot of good videos, but uh, he didn't put this up. I think another guy did, but it says, interesting information from Don Falk. Of course, Donald Falk, the uh, police officer that saw the Zodiac in the Presidio. Uh, it says something here about how the initial description was that he had the Zodiac that he saw or thought was Zodiac was six feet to six two. Uh, so, that's different, and then it says below how it changed to 510. You know, his official report that he, I guess he finally saw, signed off on said that he, the man he saw was 510. So I don't really understand what the discrepancy was here and why it was changed, but it says uh, see encounter below after he put 510. So I just thought that was interesting that was there some kind of ambiguity in between the height. And it does say receding hairline. It doesn't say widow speak, but it says receding hairline. And then it also mentions engineer boots, which, you know, we know who an engineer was. But uh, I just thought this was uh, interesting. You can find it over on Reddit. And uh, maybe somebody else knows why it, it mentions two different heights and why it was changed or, or uh, what the thought was behind that. But that's all I have for now. Be putting up some more pretty soon. Thanks for watching.